The Mandela effect refers to a situation in which a large mass of people believes that an event occurred when it did not. The term was originated in 2009 by Fiona Broom, after she discovered that she, along with a number of others, believed that Nelson Mandela had died in the 1980s, when he actually died in 2013. Looking at the origin of the Mandela effect, some famous examples, as well as some potential explanations for this strange confluence of perceptions, can help to shed light on this unique phenomenon. The term Mandela Effect was first coined in 2009 by Fiona Broom, when she created a website to detail her observance of the phenomenon. Broom was at a conference talking with other people about how she remembered the tragedy of former South African President Nelson Mandela's death in a South African prison in the 1980s. However, Nelson Mandela did not die in the 1980s in a prison he passed away in 2013. As Broom began to talk to other people about her memories, she learned that she was not alone. Others remembered seeing news coverage of his death, as well as a speech by his widow. Broom was shocked that such a large mass of people could remember the same identical event in such detail when it never happened. Encouraged by her book publisher, she began her website to discuss what she called the Mandela Effect and other incidents like it. Notable examples of the Mandela Effect The story of Nelson Mandela is not the only example of this type of false group memory. As the concept of the Mandela Effect grew along with Broom's website, other group false memories began to emerge. For example, people had a memory of a painting of Henry VIII eating a turkey leg, Though no such painting has ever existed, there have, however, been similar cartoons created. If you saw Star Wars, Episode 5 The Empire Strikes Back, you probably remember Darth Vader uttering the famous line, Luke, I am your father. You might be surprised to learn, then, that the line was actually, no, I am your father. Most people have memories of the line being the former rather than the latter. If you watched Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, you probably remember the line, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? You may be shocked to learn, then, that the line actually began with the phrase magic mirror on the wall instead. Where is New Zealand in relation to Australia? If you look at a map, you will see that it is southeast of the country. However, there is a community of people who claim to remember New Zealand being northeast instead of southeast. The famous children's book series The Berenstain Bears is not immune to the Mandela effect. Many people report remembering the name being the Berenstain Bears. This is similar to the Oscar Mayer issue, and hints at perhaps an underlying cognitive reason for the Mandela effect instead of parallel realities, as some people believe. One of the most well-known examples of the Mandela effect is the collective memory of a movie called Shazam that starred the actor-comedian Sinbid in the 1990s. In fact, no such movie exists, although there was a children's movie called Chasm and some other coincidences that could help to explain how this movie became created or remembered in many people's minds. Many people report remembering Pikachu, a Pokemon character, as having a black-tipped tail. In reality, the character has always had a solid yellow tail. Mickey Mouse might be the most famous cartoon character in the world, but even Disney's famous mouse is often misremembered in the minds of fans. People often report the character wearing suspenders when he does not. A more likely explanation for the Mandela effect involves false memories. Point one before we consider what is meant by false memories. Let's look at an example of the Mandela effect as it will help us to understand how memory can be faulty and may lead to the phenomenon that we are describing. Who was Alexander Hamilton? Most Americans learned in school that he was a founding father of the United States of America, but that he was not a president. However, when asked about the presidents of the United States, many people mistakenly believe that Hamilton was a president. Why? If we consider a simple neuroscience explanation, the memory for Alexander Hamilton is encoded in an area of the brain 
where the memories for the presidents of the United States are stored. The means by which memory traces are stored is called the engram, and the framework in which similar memories are associated with each other is called the schema. So when people try to recall Hamilton, this sets off the neurons in close connection to each other, bringing with it the memory of the presidents. Information that